What's up SEO pros, welcome back. Chase Reiner here and today we're gonna to be talking about how to make money with affiliate marketing. Even if you're a complete beginner, we're gonna be doing this with artificial intelligence and automation coming up. All right guys, so I have a strategy that I'm gonna show you how to do. And the reason why I'm actually making this is not just to show you, but also to show anyone that's going to be hired by either me or you. What I mean by this is that you can use this strategy as a way to pretty much just send it to someone that you want to execute this for you. So that way you can automate it at an even higher level than you having to show up and do it all the time. So I'm actually hiring around 10 content writers right now for about five bucks an hour to do part of this strategy. Um, again, you can do this all yourself. Uh, you can do it with a very, very small budget. In fact, you might even be able to do it for free with all these free trials I'm going to show you how to get. But uh, ideally, again, this is going to be something that you can use to not just grow your traffic, but also monetize your list. And so I want to show you how to uh, basically build traffic, build an email list, and then use that as a way to uh, actually automate your sales as well with something called swipe files. So if you don't know what any of that stuff means, don't worry. Again, I'm going to make this for you, even if you're a complete beginner to affiliate. And uh, I've made a ton of money doing affiliate. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with, um, again, no experience. So first thing we want to do is we want to identify some trends. And the reason why is you always want to ride the wave. And what I mean by that is if you're starting out and you think, oh, I want to go rank for something around make money online. A lot of the time you don't want to go for that because you're going to be going up against people that have a lot of authority. And that's not always the case. Sometimes you can find some easy keywords within things that uh, are competitive. But what I'd recommend is find something that's trending right now that is not just get uh, ha have an op not something that just has an opportunity to have an abundance of traffic, but also something that probably has a ton of new keywords that you can target before everyone else. So one of the reasons why going for keywords that are trending is a good idea is because when something's trending, usually there's tons of new things that people are searching for around that subject that people haven't um, optimized for yet. So if we go to Google Trends or trends.google.com, and this is actually some one of the places that I found some of the easiest keywords that I've been able to rank for in the past. But what you can do is just go and scroll down once you're on trends.google and click on more trending searches. And this is going to show you all of the things that's trending the most right now that people are searching for. And again, it doesn't really matter what you're getting traffic for. Um, ideally, it would it would it would be great if you got traffic for something related to the thing you're going to be promoting. But a lot of the time, um, if you choose something very general, like if you're going to be promoting something that is around making money or something that's around health or something that's around relationships. Basically just choose something that you want to promote that's very general and the traffic that you get will usually still convert just because you're going to be targeting something that everybody's interested in. Um, and again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just stick around. I'll, I'll go into more detail about how to do that. So you can see one of the keywords here is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So if I click on this and we click on that again, it'll show us the trend. So look at this. It was trending really, really high on the 24th and then it went down a little bit. It might have just been for a day. Let's actually just look at the last five years. So you can see it was kind of just this little spike. I like to go for things that are long, like that are trending over maybe like a year period, not just like a day. So this might not be a good thing to target. Let's go back to Google Trends. And sometimes it does take a little bit of research. I think that finding the, the niche that you're gonna be targeting is honestly the hardest part about all of this. Once you get that going, um, you're gonna be able to get a ton of easy keywords that you can rank for very quickly. So don't worry about um, really anything else besides just finding something that you know is trending. So one of the things I just saw a second ago was ketamine. And this is kind of interesting because ketamine is something that people are like now apparently using 
as like therapeutic medicine, which if you don't know what ketamine is, it's basically like a cat tranquilizer. But okay, so that started trending. Let's see the last. We really just want to look at like the last couple years. So you could see it's got okay trend. It's going up a little bit, but let's just say this was going up through the roof. Let's say it's like, it was like straight, a straight line up. So what we could do is we could figure out maybe some topics around ketamine. I honestly think that the easiest way to do this is just grab the topic, go over to our tool, Shine Ranker, which you can grab for free for a 10 day free trial. Just enter your email. You don't have to enter your credit card or anything. Go grab a free 10 day trial, take the keyword and go to the keyword research and see what the actual search rates are. See if they're decent, type it in, submit. Okay, so we got some keywords here. We got ketamine, ketamine for depression. If we select all as well, let's actually filter by 50 keywords, select all, and we're gonna click on check in title. I just wanna see on average how difficult these keywords are. So that one's really difficult, but look at this. Some of the longer tail with 40,000 searches are actually not too bad. So let's say we went for ketamine for depression. And then we're gonna go over to another tool, which I believe has a free trial. I'm not sure if it does or not. Um, it might, might be like seven bucks or something to try it out. Um, the only reason I'm gonna use Ahrefs for this is because um, we don't have an authority checker yet which is something that I want to put into the tool. So we should have that at some point, but we type that in, right? And then what we want to do is we want to see if there's anybody showing up. If we scroll down, anybody with low DR. Now look at this, all of these things, so all of these websites showing up on the first page are like above a 40 DR. That's not good. That's, that means it's going to be pretty hard to rank first keywords around this. So that might be something where we're like, Hey, look, that's not what we want to go for. Let's go. Um, I'm just going to do the other one really quick. Let's just say call of duty was trending really well. Call of duty. We're going to do the same thing. And I mean, you could, you could spend a couple hours trying to find a good niche, but it's worth doing the research, especially if you're going to go automate a ton of content around it. So let's do call of duty. You can see a lot of these keywords look pretty difficult because people are competing for them. But if we look and see the people showing up, it's more about the, people right now or the the websites showing up than it is about the keywords because we're not going to be ending up going for these keywords anyways we're going to end up going for the keywords that are easy that we're going to extract so again another situation where you are or dr is super high um but you would just keep going through this i'm going to i'm going to do an example let's actually do tiktok tips because i I've, i already know one that's kind of easy tiktok tips go here See who's showing up. 57 actually. Hmm. Um, let's do. Let's just do most handsome men on TikTok. Got some bad examples right now. Uh okay, Rust tips. This is a game, it's a video game that we're ranking for. Okay, so here's an example. So we got some people showing, this is what you wanna see. Basically, you wanna keep looking until you find websites showing up in the top 10 with a DR of usually around zero to 20. Okay, so this one's like 24, so that's good enough. So if we click on this website, that's down apparently for some reason, it's probably, probably my internet connection or maybe they forgot to pay their bill, I don't know. Um, but if we take that website and we go into Shine Ranker and go to the traffic checker, this should show us the top pages that this website's ranking for. And so because we know that website's ranking for some of these keywords with a DR, whatever it was, 24, we know a lot of these keywords we're gonna be able to rank for as well. And if we select these keywords and check the in title results, let it, we'll let it finish first. We're going to probably find that a lot of these keywords are really, really easy. So let's select. So look, see how a lot of them are green. So again, the actual keyword itself, let's say the, you know, rust 
is probably not very easy to rank for, but if we extract the top keywords from a low DR domain, a lot of the keywords we're gonna see are gonna be easy. And then what we can do is we can go into our dashboard. We're gonna say, okay, Rust keywords, add a new project. And then we're going to track, if we select on that, we're gonna track all of those easy keywords. So we're just gonna click on track all easy keywords. And now, we got a bunch of easy keywords in here. Refresh it. Okay, well there's some bugs in the tool obviously. Uh, ideally all of the keywords would be tracked in there and then you would end up handing those to a content writer. So let me just show you an example of what we already got like with some make money keywords. So here's some keywords we found around make money that look pretty easy. We use this exact same method. And so what we would do is we would take some of these keywords and we'd start getting content writers to write for us. But here's how you wanna actually create the content. So what you do is you take the keyword. So let's say like saving $5 a day is an easy keyword. We go to keyword or we go to content editor. We plug this into the content editor. And then we want it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to try to double the average of whatever is currently listed on Google. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna actually probably rewrite the content that's already out there. So you can see on average, we got 800 words ranking for this keyword. So we wanna go for 1600. Now what we can do is we go find who's showing up for this. Just go type in saving $5 a day. And we got all this content here, right? And then we got all the tips. So what you would wanna do is you'd take a tip like this, you'd plug it into this tool you can see the score went up because for now we're at 57 words, but we're gonna use another tool. If you go to jasperbot.com, you can get a free trial for this other tool. Log in, and we're gonna actually go and rewrite these tips. So we'll go to Content Improver, make your own breakfast, generate, and then this should give us content that's not plagiarized. There we go. Okay, looks pretty good. Got all that, copy it and wherever the heck it went. Oh yeah, right here, boom. Okay, you could also even probably spin this title here, make it something else, heading tag, whatever. But what you wanna do is, again, if we know the number one post that's ranking has 800 words or the top posts that are ranking up 800 words like this one, and let's say they have eight tips, then we'd wanna go and make like 20 or 30 tips, right? So the way we could do that is take eight of the tips from this one and then hope, we're gonna hope that these tips are a little bit different. If there are tips, this one doesn't even have tips. Let's go to the next one, this one. And you might find that you're not gonna find tips on some of these, right? So if you don't, then maybe just type in how to save money because it's gonna be probably the same thing. Saving $5 a day is probably the same as how to save money. And you would take these tips. So you look, now we have more tips and we would go add that to how to save $5 a day, right? Boom, say goodbye to debt, okay. And then we would just build this out till we have like 20 or 30 tips around that topic. And then we would, after we got all of this content here, we would upload it to the site and we would attach a URL whatever the URL is, right? So like this is the current URL, we would change this URL to our URL on whatever site we have this on, okay? Now, the cool thing about the this tool, ShineRanker, is that we can share these keywords with our content writers without them having to log in. So we could manage writers, add a writer, you know, just call them make money online writer and add. Then we select all, assign, like that, and then we can share the dashboard with them. This tool is so buggy right now, I'll be completely honest with you. We, we just switched to a different server and now it's just been like, just messing up. Okay, so we're gonna take the Make Money Online Writer, boom, and we can share this with them if we're hiring them and that way they can get the dashboard and they can start writing out the keywords. Okay, so that's how you, um, basically automate the content, right? So what we what we did, again, if you're not sure here, let me just recap, 
you find a trend, you find websites that are ranking for that trend with like a zero to 20 DA, you extract the top pages from those keywords, add them to the dashboard so you can keep track of them. And then you take those keywords and you generate 200 out of 100 scores. And then you use Jasper to rewrite that content. Or you just have a human writer write it out if you want to do that. Um, it's still kind of debatable on whether or not the AI content ranks well. It seems like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But then in the post, what you do is you add a giveaway. So when somebody, so when the post is made, let me show you, we just made a post. So let's say we go to the post, black hat SEO forms. So when the post is made, you want to put an opt-in somewhere towards the top. And what I like to do for that is use a tool called Gleam. And Gleam lets you do um, these giveaways and you can give away whatever you want. People will enter giveaways for like 10 bucks or like a $25 Amazon gift card, whatever you want to do. But you put, you create a giveaway with this tool Gleam. You click on new competition, start from scratch. And you're going to just type in the name of the giveaway. So my, my, for my example, it's like thousand dollar free giveaway. And then the way they enter is by doing whatever you want. So subscribe on messenger, you know, enter, follow you on Facebook, follow you on Twitter. My example here, like what I'm doing, let me show you my giveaway. If you just go to chaserunner.com, which by the way, you can join right now. I actually am giving away a thousand dollars. So if you want to enter that, just go to chaserunner.com. But when you go to chaserunner.com, this will load and it just has you enter in for, you know, follow me on Twitter, join my discord, blah, blah, blah. So once you do all that stuff, then, um, I also get your email and then the email gets imported into something called convert kit. This is where you make money. So what I do from here is I set up automated, um, swipes and what an automated swipe is, is basically like, um, I find affiliates. Let me actually go to visual automations. I find affiliate tools and software and, you know, I have a whole list. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you guys want it. But this list here has like a bunch of different tools that anytime people grab the tool, you get paid, right? So like one of my affiliates is that tool Jasper. I have also my own tool, Shine Ranker, um, that I promote. But basically anytime somebody enters that giveaway, they get put into my email list. And when they get put in my email list, I have automated emails that get sent out for each of my, um, for my own tools and my own affiliates. So like, look, this is for my Shine Ranker tool, the one I was just showing you. And it basically gives you, it gives the people that join a, a deal. And then after all of the Shine Ranker videos or all the Shine Ranker emails are done, then it starts going into one of my affiliate tools. And I can go into each one of these affiliates and I can set up, um, swipe file, or I can set up emails, automated emails. And a lot of these tools already have automated emails that you can just add to your CRM. Um, there's so many other things you can do as well. Like if, if let's say a lot of these people aren't getting the, um, aren't, uh, opting in, like you see how this says 700 impressions, but only 200 people entered. So that's like a 20% conversion rate. One of the things you can do is, um, you can use something like get emails. Sorry, I'm changing this because I just realized that I need to have this say free thousand dollar cash giveaway because some people might not know who Chase Reiner is um, on some of the traffic sources I'm getting. But uh, you can do something like get emails and get emails. You can basically install scripts on your, on your landing pages. And then this will actually go and capture emails and put them in your convert kit for people that don't even end up converting. Um, basically get emails, will find their IP and match it with an email in their database. And there's like a 30% match rate. So you get emails like that as well. And also, um, if you don't want to use email or you want to use email and combine it with other stuff, you can use things like Phantom Buster to go and do auto DMs on what you're promoting. So like, for instance, with Phantom Buster, if I go to dashboard, um, I'm automating emails for my Twitter following. So basically people go and follow me on Twitter and then on Twitter, I have DM sending out whatever I'm promoting. So like right now it's the giveaway. I'm getting people to join the giveaway, but I'm sending out over a thousand messages a day on Twitter with DMS to all the people that are following me from the competition. So there's all kinds of ways you can do this, but ideally if you can automate your content, like if you can get your content, um, 
trying to find where we just were with that one doc. If you can get your content going for something that's trending, you can start getting traffic and start getting opt-ins. You can turn those opt-ins into uh, really long time um, subscribers that, that buy from you from different affiliates and different things that you promote. And again, what I would do is I would choose something general. So like everybody likes to make money. And so Jasper and AI content is one way to do that. Um, you know, some, so is a lot of this other stuff. And so I can automate all of that once I get people to opt in and I can just build content that's somewhat related to the niche that I'm trying to target, you know, money or, you know, if you're selling, if you have a bunch of affiliates for health products, then you would go for things around health and, you know, stuff that's trending around that kind of stuff. But, um, from there, and, and this is probably a net, another video cause I don't want this to go on too long. It's already been pretty long, but from there you can start repurposing this stuff into TikTok and YouTube videos. So if you want me to make another video on that, on how to automate, uh, you know, TikTok and YouTube and, and kind of turn these pieces of content and lists into automated video content, let me know and I'll make another video for that. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed that.